everybody, it's John. Uh, thank you for joining my, my channel, uh, for watching it anyway. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click the like button below, share. Don't worry, I'll remind you at the end too. So I got some more shop cards in the mail, and I want to give a shout out um, to these guys. So I go Cut Fuels, uh, Model Car Garage, uh, Brian. He was he was one of my first, if not the first, subscriber to my channel. He gave me a shout out when he found me, um, and I had only had my channel up for a few weeks, maybe. But after he gave me a shout out, I I shot up to over 100 subscribers. I'm still gaining slowly but surely, but it's all it's all thanks to Brian. He is he is a, a great builder, uh, painter, detailer. You should go check check out his channel. Uh, he's really really nice guy, and he'll answer any questions you have. He'll and he'll point you in the right direction. So uh, Brian, thank you so much for the card. Uh, thank you for all the kind words on the back, and thank you. Uh, for offering uh, to help me out with with any problems I have or, or anything that I need, uh, you're 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 the real deal, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so excited to finally get one of your cards. And I also want to give a shout out to Jeff's Model Garage. Jeff is a cool builder too. Um, he has uh, he has a lot of not a lot, but he has a few videos from shows and. And he does a lot of group builds, so his channel is really cool. And he, and he, he gives a, a lot of shout, shout outs. He has quite a few videos on his channel that's focused on just shout outs. So Jeff's a really, really cool guy, really good builder. Everybody, everybody in this community is is great. You know, I guess when you when you when I start some when I started this, I honestly I wasn't even sure if there was anybody building models on YouTube. I never I never looked it up. So, and to see how big the community is, is, is fantastic. And it's really uplifting. And I know I always say guys, but I know there's some gals out there. Uh, I know I follow, I follow three of them. And, and yeah, even Snail, for instance, she's, she's quite amazing with her abilities and what she does. I'll also leave a link for her below. And I also need to make a correction from my last video um, and the shout outs I gave. I mistakenly um, attributed a group build to the wrong channel. I don't have the card from the channel that, that's doing it, but it is Gale Model Experiment. I'll also include his link below. He's one that's doing a build for intermediate builders and it's one of three cards. He's put them all up for a vote, whichever gets the most vote is the one um, we're all going to build. Uh, he'll walk through it with us and teaching us different things along the way. Also helping with some problems we might uh, struggle with. I know me, I, 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 I battle decals all the time. I don't mind the mid-sized ones, but uh, the tiny ones, man, they give, me, they, give me, they give me some anxiety. Especially, I've tried to put decals on the top of a shift knob. How the heck do you do that? But anyway, so so yeah, so I will leave a link for Scale Model. I will also leave a link for Snail and the two guys that gave a shout out too. Yeah, subscribe to all their channels. They're all they're all great. I really don't think you'd be disappointed. I certainly am not. All right, so with that, let me catch you up on something. So you know what a fantastic cameraman I am. Uh, so a lot of times I forget to turn on the sound, the light, whatever. Last night I turned on the camera, I thought it was rolling, but it was in pause. So this is the, the hood from the Z28. After I stripped the paint, uh, it broke again, the same spot, but this time another smaller chip came off and there was another chip missing. And honestly, if I knew where that other chip was, I'm not going to stick together three tiny little pieces trying to get them back together on the hood. So what I did is I cut, I cut out, um, I cut out the break where the break was. I cut it off the hood. And then what I did was I, I measured and 
hear that. It's another thunderstorm. Welcome to New England, especially up north, New Hampshire, Massachusetts has been nuts. So what I did was, as I, I measured here and I cut, um, I cut a piece off. I actually cut two. The first piece I cut was this edge, closer to this edge. And this, this here was really thin. So what, what I discovered is as you got towards the center, it got thicker. So I cut another piece out, the same size, um, out of, this is the hood from the charger. And uh, yeah, so I cut that piece out. Then I cemented it to the hood here. Um, it did stick out a little bit here and here. I mean, it wasn't perfectly flush. So I filed it down. It's still a little big, but I didn't feel like I should take it all the way down to where I felt it needed to be because I don't have the body upstairs to match it with. It's still soaking in my pink pond. I don't have a purple pond, but um, I must buy a different kind of freight fluid. But um, so anyway, that's almost ready to strip as you know, you see this obviously was ready. Um, and I was blessed that even though I lost it, it still was, I was still able to strip it. But, but yeah, so that's where I am with this. So I'm happy the way this, this came out. Um, I'm hoping that if this comes, comes out great, it'll give me more confidence to maybe start modifying some some things uh, with my with my models, making them more personalized. So I know this isn't really personalizing anything. Replacing the rear window in the in the '69 Camaro, and then whoops, throwing this away, and then doing this to the hood on the Z28 um, makes me feel kind of good. <clears throat> but the only question I have, see, I don't know, my camera's. I got this on sale. Obviously, I don't know why. Um, but right here, these two ones, there's a slight little gap. It goes about down to there. Obviously, I can't file it because it's going to take a lot off. I'd like it to look fantastic. So, I don't know. I don't know if, if you have any suggestions about how to take care of that tiny little gap. Leave a comment. And then the other thing is, obviously, this is from a Dodge Charger. This is from a Z28. These do not, the underside does not match. So I'm not really sure how to handle this part. I don't want it to look like I cut it off another hood and stuck it on here. So any suggestions about that? Please leave a comment below. Do you want to see when I put new videos up? Uh, Ring that bell so you'll have a notification whenever I put something up. I think I'm gonna have to um, have the bondo or something here, obviously, because there is a little ridge. But but yeah, there it is. Very excited. I am going to go down and get the Z28 body, scrub that off, and then I'll be back because I'm gonna try to fit the hood get that ready so I can repaint everything. Uh, I did I'll seal that seat down. I did um, get a roll bar. So there you go. Which, which kit came with a roll bar? Um, anyway, one of the kits I, I built had a roll bar, so I just I did that. Um, I don't know if you can see the fire extinguisher in there. It, uh, it was all chrome, so I dechromed it um, so I could paint it red and did the little metal bracket across the end and and just uh, used some aluminum on the spray handle. That's that really all that's really left is to build the cabin. I mean to uh, assemble the rest of the body and paint it. And there's the um, drivetrain that I made. I uh, wasn't anything 
really spectacular kind of creation. I just cut a piece off of one of the screw trees and fitted it. Um, made two pegs on either side so it would fit into the trainee and to the rear. So there we go. I got that. So yeah, I've done a on the Z28. I've done a couple of things that were out of my comfort zone. So. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to go take care of the body and when that is done and I'm ready to fit the hood on, we'll come back and see how I progress doing that. So I want to thank everybody for joining me. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, click the like button, share, ring the bell and you'll be notified and don't forget follow the links i'm going to post below you'll enjoy all these channels I actually go back to every channel that mentions shout out if you haven't uh and if you don't follow any of those guys any of those folks <laughs> um i really suggest that you do because uh you'll 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 learn a lot and the community is just fantastic i just can't say enough good things about all these guys um, so yeah, so once again, thank you for joining me. I will catch you next time. Have a good day and God bless.